Time trials at Indianapolis this week will determine starting positions for most of the 33 Memorial Day racers. But right now, the only sure starter is a pearl white Ford Torino convertible. Jason with Denworks. I got something really, really cool here today in 1968 Torino GT. This is a GT model, but this is one of the 709 pace cars of the Indy 500 of May 30th, 1968. You know, this car is really, really original. It was a one owner, uh, and you know, when I say that, it's been in the family with the same owners here in Salem, Oregon for 50 years. You know, I just got it maybe about three or four weeks ago and the car was given to his daughter in the 80s and I got actually pictures um, in the auction and stuff where he gave her the title and it was really a cool, cool moment back then and there's pictures of her standing next to it back in the day but you know, the car's always been here. It was bought brand new in State in Oregon, which is about 12 miles east of where I'm standing at, at right now, at Philippi Motor Company, which was the local Ford dealership out there. And it's just a really cool car in general. I don't think there's probably, you know, and I'm, and I'm guessing, there's probably not one in original paint. You know, this is the original paint. It's never been painted. You know, it's never been restored. It's always been a driver. So that's what is really neat about this car overall. You know, it can only be original one time. And I hope that whoever gets it keeps it that way. Yeah, it has some bumps, it has some bruises, you know, little things, but the car is absolutely rust-free and actually really, really clean. So we'll walk around it here in a minute. I do want to say something about the official pace car, Torino. I did put those on the car because when it was bought new, Mr. Nightingale's wife would have nothing to do with those letters on there. She was okay with the, the GT stripes, but they immediately took those off the dealer and they weren't installed in the car. And one of the reasons I bought it, first I like Fords and I like Torinos and I think pace cars are really cool and I like low production cars, is I wanted to put those stripes back on you know, all the logos and stuff, and that's exactly what I did. So they belong on it, and they look great on the car. So I have a Marty report on it as well, and it is definitely documented one of the uh, original 709 uh, case cars that were sold at the dealer. So we'll walk around it here. I was going to show you the lights working up front. We got marker lights, got headlights. And we got bright lights. Those are all working. Turn the lights off. You'll be able to see here, it's actually got the little Ford script. There are on three of them. And it doesn't have one on this one. So that one's been replaced. I actually used to have a couple of these sitting around, but I had the bright light. I didn't have this one over here. But if you look on eBay, it'd be nice to put an original one back in it. You know, you look across the front, really, really nice. None of this stuff's been re-chromed. This is original chrome bumper on it. Very, very nice. And one of the nice things here too, these are the original plates that were put on it here in Oregon in 1968. It hasn't been licensed since 2010. Um, but it runs good. We went through the brakes, went through a lot of things on it. You know, you look at the grill, really, really nice condition. It is a GT car. What's really interesting about it is most of these cars came with a bench seat. They didn't uh, have bucket seats console. And most of them were a 289 or 302 engine. The ones that actually paced the race were 
there was three of them and one was a 428 and the others were two were uh, 390s this is a 390 Y code so it's a two barrel 390 so it is a big block you could put a four barrel on it but I wouldn't touch the car I would just leave it original so we're gonna look at little scratches you'll see little tiny scratches you're gonna see a lot of touch-ups um, in general there's a little scratch a little rub through on the paint this is a hundred percent original paint there is no respray there's not any uh, spray marks or uh, anything on it you know but definitely you're gonna see little tiny dings there's a little tiny indention right here and you might not be able to see it it's actually really hard to photo you're gonna notice little this here the door came open a little bit and it got caught in there so it kind of hunkered that just a little bit it is what it is you know but you're not gonna see any rust in the bottom of the rockers or anything really nice no rust in the bottom of the the doors these are the original stripes but you'll see some little nicks and stuff little cuts in it in general just looking down here you know you can see little scratches and stuff and like I said I put all the lettering on with Nolan I was gonna hire someone to do it and then Nolan's like hey we can do it I said you ever done he said no so for some reason I trusted him and we did it you can see a little little chip right there you know some little door dings you know and I had to go over some of the little actually not door dings just little chips I had to go over them you can see little ch chips here that have been touched up you know again really really nice this here isn't rust that's just the seam sealer right there rockers are really really good and again you're gonna see little white touch-ups and different things on the car we'll flip it around here in a minute touch-ups here anytime I point I'm not gonna tell you every time but I'm pointing I'm just pointing at little nicks and stuff all that stuff's from like the garage this trim ring isn't the original trim ring the wheels are original Day coded the caps are original they have the the numbers on the back the Ford numbers but this trim ring is the only one that's not original if you look at the front one here you can kind of see the the difference in it the way the rib is but that is uh, day correct too and stamped with the Ford part numbers on it so we'll go ahead and flip it around here in a second so you can take a look I was gonna mention this little area back here you're going to see a picture of her sister standing here with her finger and she took it out of the garage one time and dented it in right here so and a pretty good dent so i had a ding guy and we weren't trying to make it look perfect perfect but when you see that photo it's pretty ripply but my guy did a pretty good job you know there you can see the indention i mean that was just like if you took a ball peen hammer and pushed it in so it was hard to get it out but I wanted to preserve it and look good you'll see some little scratches and stuff especially on the back here so um, there, that has been touched up but look behind the wheel I mean it's not rusty at all you know I went ahead and put the 500 festival you know when um, the original car was going around the track you know I seen that on there so I wanted that one to be on there and actually the the original 428 car actually has it on there today but it, you know that car had been fully restored you know this is this is an original car so they're they're both actually really cool in their own right so we'll flip it around here you can take another look you know if you look down the side it's actually pretty straight you'll see some little dings when you look down the side but you know it is white so you don't notice it as much but we'll walk around you can just see little chipping and stuff in the stripes and different things. You know, a little rub through on the paint. It's to be expected. You know, again, no rust. Wheel lip moldings look really good. A couple little minor dings. A little scratch right there. A little touch up. You can see here, the same thing happened on that door. And actually what happened, I'll just show you real fast see this little spring sometimes if the door gets hyper sprung the little spring came out 
and which made the door open too much. And what happened is right on the back side of this hinge, it uh, rubs up against it and hit it. So you can see it's got new springs in there. That happened a long time ago, but it happened for some reason on both doors. It's got new springs in it now. But you'll see little touch-ups and stuff in general. Windshield looks really, really good. You know, you'll, you're going to see some little tiny wiper marks. The bird got it there. And there's a little tiny marker or a wiper mark up there on the top, but nothing major. You look at the trim around the windshield. Really, really nice condition overall. Let's look down the side. Again, no bubbles or anything down here. You can see here, this has been touched up, but he uh, put his arm up there and rubbed through it. But you can actually see the original primer, original metal right there just on this edge. You know that again, this thing has not been repainted. No spot paint work or anything. This is the original paint that was on it in 1968. And I'm not talking about just the color. This is the Ford factory sprayed this on here which is really cool a lot of little chipping along the door here but again no no rust in the rockers you know they did take nice care of the car but they actually drove it too and enjoyed it look around the wheel lip really nice you know, no rust down here you know, you're gonna see little chips little tiny scratches but I mean it's really a, a good looking car you know the boot is in nice shape i can see and actually on that side up there in the front that little snap is missing you can see a little ding right here but this little snap oh actually it's not missing i lied to you thought it was but you can see a little stretch right here in the uh in the boot but again that's the original boot uh to the car so hopefully that gives you a, a good look at it in general you know, it's, it's really a neat piece. Reverse lights work, but they're a little uh, touchy. You kind of got to wiggle it a little bit. You look down the side, really nice. You know, it's just a clean, clean old car in general. So I hope someone will enjoy it. We'll go ahead and show you some more stuff. Hey, here we go. I just wanted to go through some of the you know, just uh, memorabilia here in general. This is the original owner's manual. You can actually see when he bought it from Philippi Motors on October 31st, 1968 on Halloween. Pretty neat. And actually, if you see this little 450, number 450, that is actually written underneath the uh, shock tower on the engine. I don't know if that corresponds for some reason or, or not, but I just, I just noticed that there and it says Torino convertible. So maybe they marked it underneath the hood, maybe when it was in service or, or something like that. Two original owner's cards with this signature there. It was only in one car show right here. Northwest Car Collector Show, November 4th and 6th, 1983. And this was the sign that it was that he had up next to it at that car show. Got a little bit of wind going on out here. So you can see right here, this is where it was at that car show. A couple pictures there. This is just a couple general pictures of it in general before the car show. And then he also had it in a parade in the uh, Chili Cook-Off Rotomoto, Chili Cook-Off Kaiser uh, Rotary. This is a reproduction picture of the original pace car this was the 428 uh, car that toured the track this is the I believe the actual same car you can see here it has the uh, 500 festival sticker like I put on the side and then you know brochure brochure Indy 500 cards playing cards here's the title Titles in my name, VIN matches. And we also have a Marty report that I should have put out here, but I didn't put it out here. Also have a Marty report, which you'll see in the auction. This here is a souvenir title that I got back, but 
this is the original owner James when he gave it to his daughter and but they always parked it in uh, their garage because they eventually mom and dad moved to this address uh, too but in the 80s he gave it to Nancy who I got it from who you'll see a picture of in the auction as well um, it's just kind of cool to keep that because you know eventually he just ended up giving her the car this is kind of neat an original PPG color codes Wimbledon white you can see here and actually they did color match the Brittany blue poly on the stripe here so it's just kind of a nice nice little piece Johnny Lightnings toy car original uh, Philippi Ford leather keychain and then also I thought this was kind of neat this is actually an original uh, um, ticket to the race 1968 you can see the track on the back but anyways I thought that was just kind of neat to have all this stuff restoration guide you know just some general uh, stuff to go with the car which is actually pretty cool so I'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff hey just wanted to show you that the lights work I forgot to show you earlier you can see here the tail lights are on right now and we got brake lights we got turn signals we got left and then we got the right and even right here you can see the license plate light is working then go ahead and put it in reverse okay and there we go just wanted to show you that the the door is locked here so they do function you know the interior is in really really good shape mostly original you know a lot of these cars most of them actually came with a bench seat I might have mentioned that earlier um, in another little part of the video but this one here was ordered with buckets and a console so it has a lot of nice options that you usually don't see on these cars they all had blue interior and they were all Wimbledon white but very few had a, a bench or a console and bucket seats the bottom of this seat was replaced you can see here he had that replaced he had worn it out at some point and I believe that he might have had this section replaced so you can see some of the stitching uh, coming out of it coming out of it right here but I believe that this whole center section was uh, replaced you can see some little wear marks here I thought about redoing this section but I thought you know let's try to keep it as original as we can in general you know the steering wheel has a crack right there dash pad looks really really good you'll see a little warping and I'll show you the VIN number in a minute up there there's a little bit of warping uh, up there in the the front but overall really really nice condition you can see the courtesy light works horn works you know inside the jam really really good condition you know you look down here you can see you know foot scuffs and stuff you know just from getting in and out you know he used to take this out with his family and enjoy it but the original quarters everything looks looks really good you can see the back seat is in nice condition you know that even that light works back there you can see some little cracks here in this console right here and right here there's a little crack we did take the console out and reinforce this back here because this whole piece was busted out and just tried to get it as good as we could and I got uh, color match paint you know to match the console because it was really faded I didn't want to do something like that but since it was broken uh, and we had it out might as well fix it but you know you can see you know just the wear in general just from the age you look at the door panels really really nice condition armrests are worn and cracked this little cup is worn but again 
in great shape. Look at the end of the door. You'll notice here on the door tag, you know, you can see this DSO might stand out at you. Uh, the DSO there, usually like in Seattle, would be 774 or something like that. But you got 740562, and that means that this was a special order um, car for like promotional purposes. But just because it has that number does not mean that it was a pace car. And you know, one of the 709. You actually have to get a Marty report on it. You know, there's different telltale signs in general, but a Marty report is really, really helpful. Obviously, you have to have the color codes, you know, and this car was built. Also, you gotta have the, the DSO. It was built in May. It was scheduled, I think, for the 10th, but it actually got built on the, uh, on the 15th, so right before the race and stuff, so. You know, there's got to be a lot of things, but Marty Report, which I have, really tells you a lot about the car in general. You'll notice here that it has Mustang floor mats in it. I should be shot, but I like Mustang floor mats, and I would like to find a Torino set or a Ford set like that, and I couldn't, and I didn't want to go down to the local uh, parts store and just buy some rubber ones, but, you know, this is the original carpet in it. You know, and it's in pretty good shape, but you're going to see some little wear marks on it in general. You can see here it wore through. But overall, the carpet's nice. You know, you could replace it if you want to because it's not perfect, but, you know, it is the original. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you the other side. Just wanted to show you from this side real quick the interior. You know, look how nice the door shut. You know, really good. You know, the car hasn't been apart. But if you just look at the interior on this side, it looks good. You can see how it, the console is a little warped right there. You can see the original VIN. You can see how the how the dash pad is pulled up just a little bit right there. It's kind of an interesting sticker. The guy worked for the uh, water. He, he uh, actually dug a lot of the wells for the city here in town in Salem and Kaiser. So I kept it on there because it's part of the history of this guy that owned this car. You can see inside the jam, really, really nice. Like I was mentioning earlier, it has new springs in there that he put. One thing that I would do to it probably in the future, if I was gonna keep it longer, the gaskets look pretty good here, but I'd probably put new window felts in it because the other one on the other side, I forgot to show you, is pretty beat up. I'll show it to you in a minute. You know, you look at the jam. Again, really, really nice condition. Let's go ahead and uh, roll up the windows. I'm gonna show you. I'll stretch over there. You see that felt? It's actually pretty bad, bad shape. But we'll go ahead and roll the windows up. No one's got that side. And they roll up good. It's kind of funny to do it backwards there, but you're gonna have to open it. Sorry, it's taking just a little extra time here, but I just wanted to show you that they do roll up and down and nice, uh, nice and smooth. You can see here, this is ripped, but I'll go ahead and roll this up by myself. It's kind of nice on like a Mustang too. They actually have a chrome trim around there. It's just kind of a nice, nice thing. You know, that's really smooth actually. I'll go ahead and roll this one up. You know, really, really nice and, and smooth how that, that works. You can see here a little cracking along that felt. But overall, you know, the car is nice in general and, and preserved. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. Hey, just wanted to show you the top going up. It is a power top, and you don't have to have it running when you do it, you can have it off, but you know, the power top does work, and it's in really good shape. The top was replaced, I believe, probably 10 years ago. Obviously, when you drive off with it, with it you know, you'd click it down, but we're gonna put it back down in a minute so you can see it go down. But, you know, the top was put on about 10 years ago, and these cars came originally with a blue top. 
you know it looks really nice the rear window I believe might be original I'm not sure because you can see the little bit of discoloration a lot of times they'll just put a top and leave the window but I'm guessing that that's the original material along the back there just because it you can see the fade but you can see the top excellent shape no issues with it at all and looks really good up here in the bolster no rust for the header you know really 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 nice I'll show you from the other side real fast you know again no rips or any wear marks or anything so it's it's in really good shape so we'll go ahead and put it down you know it's got a converter a boot that goes over the top and it works perfectly so and right here's the the boot and I'll uh, put it back on but you know it works good I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you underneath the hood you know this is really really original underneath the hood of this car you know really really nice Go ahead and rev it up just a little bit. You know, really, really smooth. You know, this is the, the original 390, original air cleaner and everything. We did put valve cover gaskets on it. Previous to me getting it, they uh, put a water pump on it a long time ago, but it seems to be cool and good and everything. We did put a new master on it. We built the uh, brake cylinders, flush the system. This is, this radiator was redone. We did flush the system, but this is the, uh, the original radiator. You see the Ford Moco stamp on it. You know, really, really nice condition, but that was uh, replaced. You know, you look back there on the cowl, really good condition. This 450 is kind of interesting to me, and I think they probably did that when it was new at the dealership or when they had it in for service. But that 450 on the owner's manual that I was showing you, it says number 450. So I wonder if when they put this in the, uh, you know, in service or something like that, a Philippi Ford, they wrote that on there for a uh, stock number. You can see the original shock marks here on the engine, which is really cool to have. Brand new battery. But look at the aprons. You know, absolutely no rust, no damage really really clean water bottle could be replaced obviously this is pretty neat here power steering pump original chalk mark go ahead and turn the wheel a little bit you know the, the power steering is not making any noise you can hear a little belt making a little bit of noise there but it's nothing I just wanted to turn that power steering pump a little bit but you just hear the belt moving general you can see here new alternator on it but we also put a new heater core and we have new shocks i'll show you those when we have it underneath you know it's kind of interesting and i hope you can see this you see in there where it says c a c e that's the Ford car number you know it's a two barrel carburetor it does have the original uh, carburetor i took a picture of it for you with the c8 number but C A T E C is for truck. And on the two barrel cars they actually use the truck intake manifold. I thought that was kind of interesting. You just look up underneath here, you know the hood is in really good shape again. And this is a hard find here with the original insulation. So you know you could do a little tidying up underneath here in general, but you know it doesn't really need much. I would just preserve it we have and you know just keep it like this really really cool so we'll show you some more hey I wanted to show you underneath the trunk real fast you know the trunk is really original you know you can see it doesn't have any bubbles on the back of the trunk here really good you know very very original trunk original mat you know what's neat about this sign and you've seen pictures of it already but you know this is before the day when you know you could get a guy to make die cut stuff i mean this is all handmade from 1983 you know someone painted that on there you know it's pretty pretty cool 
you know, when I got it, they asked me, hey, do you want that sign hanging on the wall? I'm like, absolutely. You know, it's only been in one car show its whole life in 1983, isn't that funny? The floor mat back here, the trunk mat, is original, but it's really fragile. You can see some rips. I'm not going to take it out, and I didn't take it out for photos, but it's not because I'm scared to. I'm trying to hide anything. It's just, it's so fragile, and I would hate to ruin it, but I'll show you right here at the leading edge, and I have it on my lift. You can see it, but you can see the factory glue right there, and if I try to pull that up anymore, I'm just going to rip it, but look how nice that trunk is. Original paint. And look at the cardboard still still original you know you look back behind here absolutely no damage between behind the lights the original spare but it's not the, the actual spare tire this is uh, a different tire but it's got the spare and all the jack and everything so it actually looks really really good and you know you look around here around the lip trunk lip and the gutter looks really good you can see here the original light is working you, know, you got original stickers there's some JC pennies you know putting tires on it and different uh, things 1970 it had 15,000 miles you know just different stickers of course I had to put my sticker on it and but it, again it's really clean if you look underneath here it's really really nice you're gonna see a little bit of surface rust and it's really minor hopefully you can see that it's not uh, it's just it's just really surfacey you know no holes or anything hopefully you can see that you know it looks looks worse than it is but I would probably sand that down and just repaint that edge right there just to preserve it but it doesn't have any issues and first glance you you wonder what is that but it's actually really really clean and hopefully you can see that in the video the sun's out hey just wanted to do a cold start uh, for you I haven't started it today at all today's July 11th so it actually starts pretty pretty easy overall you see the lights working underneath there radio doesn't work uh, by the way but all the other gauges work so when I turn the key on and they just turned on the on position. You can see the oil pressure, alternator light, seat belts, and the cold start. You can see right there. And I also just want to real fast. Oh, let's, let's start it first. Hit the gas a couple times. You know, it does start right up real nice. see the oil pressure and the alternator light came out or uh, turned off and then you can see here that the belt light came off the blinkers you can see it's blinking you can see over there on the other side you can see it's blinking the bright lights it's a little cold blood and not bad though hopefully you can see that red that's for the bright lights. So all that works, all the uh, interior lights work, and everything, the horn. You can see the indicator light works right there. Which is nice, cigarette lighter's not working. And the heater, you can hear the fan running. And then defrost just shifted up to the top so everything uh, seems to be in pretty good order in general so i just wanted to show you that information real fast you can see the gas gauge works and typical dealer it's almost on e so i'll put a little gas in it and you can see the odometer reads 76 322 and it does work
which I love restored cars too, but you know, a survivor can only get original once. And you know, this thing, it's just amazing. It's just never been apart. And it's just like driving it out of the showroom in uh, 68, you know, 50, you know, really 50 years later. I mean, 1968, 2018, you know, it's just a, it's just a great car. And I'm really excited that I had the opportunity to own it. And you know, it's just been in Salem its whole life. You know, so it's just a great opportunity, and it's probably the only one, as I said before, that's, you know, I'm guessing that has original paint on it still, you know, and original, you know, owner family. So we'll just uh, cruise it around here a little bit more and show you some more stuff in just a minute. Hey, here we are. We're going to take a look underneath the Torino. Very, very solid car. You know, I like to get the cars up on the lift. You know, obviously for pictures, but a little while ago I started doing videos underneath as well. It just gives you a whole nother perspective of the way the floors look, the structure. And, you know, it's pretty much what I do when I go look at a car, you know, in person. You know, look at it on the outside for maybe a couple minutes, but then I'm right on the ground, you know, trying to look at it and and just see the structure because anything can look pretty on the outside but it's when you get it in the structure i mean that's the the big deal and platform and and everything so you know so i just want to do the same uh for you guys when we're we're selling things you know you actually get to see more in these videos probably than if you were to look at it in, in person so we'll go ahead here and just start from the front to the back you know the first thing we want to look at in general you know, as I said before, this thing's 100% original paint. There is no accidents. You know, I just wanted to show you up here, the battery box, absolutely no rust. You look back behind the headlight buckets. You know, really, really clean. You know, you look up here at the core support, you know, no rust. You know, this thing's like a true survivor. I mean, it's. It's really amazing. You can see the front in, front apron here. No crinkles, no damage. Behind the headlight, looks good. You can see the gravel pan between the bumper and grill. You know, shock mounts. You can see there we put new shocks all the way around it. You know, but really, really clean in here in general. We haven't painted the engine. I just wanted to keep it original. And it looks good. I haven't seen any major oil leaks or anything like that on it. It's definitely the original motor. You know, the motor mounts look good. You see on both sides. We did change the oil. It's got uh, 1040 in it. It's got a new alternator. You know, we did take all the brakes apart. You're going to see uh, pictures, but it had really nice shoes and stuff so we rebuild all the cylinders all the way around the hoses look good they're not cracked you know you look at the ball joint up there no cracks in it or anything like that you know, tie rod ends all look good this car when you're driving it is just amazing i wish all old cars drove like this because you know after you take them apart they uh they just they're not the same anymore this thing just is really smooth down the road, even though the suspension's never uh, been re rebuilt. You know, it's it just glides down the road. It's it's really amazing to me. You know, definitely still an old car, and you might want to update this stuff down the road. But man, it's truly amazing. You know, driving. You'll see some excess oil and stuff around here. In general. We did change the valve cover gaskets, and I think a lot of this oil is from that, just from years. I mean, just years of being used and, you know, sitting around and stuff like that, but there's just uh, a lot of residue in general, but, you know, it really doesn't drip on the floor. I've noticed a couple little drips on the uh, steering box, and there was a little bit on the power steering here, but 
pretty minor. We did put a new boot right there. But everything else looks looks pretty clean. We serviced the transmission. We also put a uh, shift shaft seal in it right up in here. And that was leaking a little bit. And there was definitely a lot of leakage around the, uh, the pan. So we put a new gasket filter and let's see here. You can see here it's got dual exhaust, you know, all the way back. No H pipe. And I don't know if they actually put an H pipe in these. We also flushed out the radiator um, and the whole brake system because we put the master cylinder in uh, and, you know, all the wheel cylinders. It's pretty obvious that you flush the system when you do that, but I just wanted to say that. You can see the floors, really, really nice. Very, very solid. Torque boxes all look really good. You look at the rockers, really amazing on this thing. Really, really nice. And one of the reasons that thing, this thing's been saved is because there's no debris in the, the drain holes. You see all the drain holes are are clear. You know, the frame rails look nice. You know, it's just the way you want to see an original car. You know, super clean underneath here. And let's look here at this rocker. Again, very, very nice. Floor pans look really good. You know, the transmission's a uh, C6. And the rear end is a uh, 275, you know, so it's got nice highway gears. And we serviced the transmission or the uh, rear end as well. We took all the fluid out and put new gear oil in it. You know, here's our new shocks. This is actually definitely a spot that gets rusty in Mustangs and, and Fords and a lot of cars. The frame rail arch over the rear end. You know, very, very solid. Look in this side. Very, very nice. And up here, sometimes this gets rusty. Looks really good on this car. You can see here, in the frame rail. Really good condition. You see the rear end, it needs to be cleaned up, but you know, a lot of this, there was, the only reason this is wet is when we were bleeding it, you know, we took these hoses off and stuff, but someone accidentally forgot to put the uh, little fittings on the back and it squirted all over this, so that was our bad, but um, but you can tell, the nice thing is you can tell it's real nice metal here, it's not all pitted or anything on the rear end, so it'd be nice to clean this up and, and repaint it some sometime down the road. There's the new shocks, you can see the shock mount area isn't rusty. Looks good. We did put a new hose here. Has new tires as well. You can see all the little nubs. I put a, uh, oh, it was a 215-75-14 on it. Back here, the rear frame rail again. Really, really nice. No signs of any accidents. Trunk drop-offs. Great condition. You can see the trunk drop off on this side. Sorry I'm spending so much time underneath this car, but it's really amazing. And this is, it's just really important. I probably spend more time on my videos underneath than some of the other stuff. You can see the bottom of the quarters, not rusty. Original spot welds, you know, very, very clean. I'll just walk over to this side and show you this. You know, again, all the original spot welds, no little bubbles, no little pimples, very, very clean, you know, real nice rockers. These aren't bubbles there, that's just where the, they put a little seam sealer in there, but you can see it's just kind of came out a little bit, but that's not a rust bubble or anything like that. So hopefully that helps you a lot on the condition of the car underneath. If you've got questions, just give me a jingle. You know, you can make comments on the auction and stuff, but you know, it's a pretty rare car, only 709 built. 
you know, and there's just not a, a lot of these around. So pretty excited to have it and have it for sale and bring a trailer. It's uh, probably the only pace car that's ever been on there uh, for uh, Torino. So pretty neat car.